Day at CSUP. What's it like? What does it entail? What does it involve? Those two words mean the same thing, but who cares? Today, we're talking about CSU Pueblo. I do live in town. I don't live on campus, so I drive to school. For me, it's about like a 12, 13 minute commute. All right, so now I gotta drive to school, guys. So I like to call this the walk of shame. The long path you have to take in order to get to science. It's my hardest class, and it's also my least favorite. Can't complain. Gotta get, you gotta get those general eds done, basically, and that's just part of the process. I guess they want to know if I'm gonna fall in love with science, but the answer is no. Not science for me. I'll stick to making YouTube videos. This is it, guys. This is the Life Sciences Building. Yeah, nothing too amazing. Today we're doing a life at CSU Pueblo. A little different video. Okay. Explain a little bit how you feel about this class. Honestly, it shouldn't have been as hard as it was, you know? It got me in the first half. I ain't gonna lie, but, you know, I think we're gonna make it through, so. All right, guys, this is a Life Science Lecture. Uh, we sit here for about an hour and a half. An hour and a half? Something like that. Yeah, hour and a half and we suffer. Also, it is currently 9.32 and the professor is not here right now. Me and Sierra don't know what to do. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Alright guys, that class was rough. But we made it. <sighs> if you guys are ever on campus, make sure to go to the student center, the OSC. And then check out Einstein's. They got like the best bagels and fruit parfait things. So freaking good. Thank you. Thank you. I actually had to use this bagel as a tripod because I don't have a tripod at school. It is currently 11.04 in the a.m. Which means I have about a solid 11 minutes to eat all of this food. So let's eat. Food was delicious. My next class is, um... Sign language, it's actually a really dope class. If you're at CSUP, I suggest taking it. I'm walking through the grass right now because I am gonna be late. So we just finished uh, ASL sign language with yeah. the boys. Good. Can you say hello in sign? Can you say happy in sign? See, look, sign language. <laughs> I just wanna point out that this is probably happening really fast for you guys because it's all gonna be edited. But for me, this is taking forever. This is the GCB, uh, General Classroom Building. It's where my last class is. Just got out of journalism. Bro, I didn't even pay attention the whole time. I was <laughs> get off my computer. Becca. I saw my YouTube channel. Just got out of my last class. And this is the moment when I know if I go home, I won't get any work done. So I like to check into the library just for like maybe, maybe like a few hours, an hour, a few hours. And then that's where I'll get like most of my work done, and then I'll head home. So this is the elevator for the library. Right now I'm doing what is called pod hunting. So I'm trying to find like just a pod for me to study in. I normally go to the fifth floor. Fifth floor. Sometimes I get lucky. Bam. So this is what you would call a pod study room, I guess. And this is where I'll be studying for the next, uh, we'll say an hour, maybe less. Just got out of the library, put in a solid one hour work session. That's it, that's pretty much my day at CSU Pueblo. Not very eventful, kind of boring actually. And that's usually how all my days are. Also, it's towards the end of the semester and I'm just feeling pretty worn out, you know? Thanks for tuning in to my day at CSU Pueblo. Now back to our regular, regularly scheduled vlog. That's five minutes, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and ring that bell. Since you guys gave us five minutes, we're gonna give you five. And by we, I mean Jay. What am I? I'm better than RDS, man. No, do the one I told you to do. I'm giving you five carrots, Sadie. One, two, three, 14 carrots. 14 carrots. All right, guys, I guess that's, that's 14. It. I don't know. I've walked all the people.